In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Cogent Data Hub to establish redundant connections to two different OPC DA servers and two different OPC UA servers, and then how to configure the redundancy in the Data Hub. Let's get started. So first, I want to show you my OPC DA connection. I've created a connection to my local top server, and it's currently running. It's putting data into the OPC DA data domain. Second, I have an, a remote connection using tunneling to a second OPC DA server running on a different computer. If we go and view the data and go to the tags here, you can see my OPC DA tags have good quality and are changing. And so do my OPC DA remote tags. You can see my remote tags are updating a little faster. That way we can see that the failover has happened. Similarly with OPC UA, I've created two connections, one to my local OPC UA server and one to a remote OPC UA server. Now that we have our OPC DA and UA connections established, we can configure the redundancy. So we click on the redundancy. We're going to add a new redundant connection we'll call this one OPC DA and we'll make the primary my local DA and the secondary the remote output is OPC DA output we can switch when the quality is let's say not equal to good um, and then we can we can leave everything else at its default here. The next thing I'd like to do is create some tags uh, which are used for status and control of the redundant connection. So we'll create one called current source. I'll call this state one, state two, and preferred source. Let's click OK. Let's click Apply. So we now created a new domain called OPC DA Output. You can see that our preferred source is one, our current source is one, and both of the sources are up and running. Let's uh, let's disable my my connection to my local. You can see that current source is now two even though preferred source is one because the source one is now offline. Turn this back on. It's now running and because we have a preferred source, it's switched back to the source one. If you don't use the preferred source option in your redundancy, then it will stay with whatever connection was the last good one. Let's add an OPC UA connection. Let's add a redundant, let's add redundant configuration for our OPC UA servers. Call this OPC UA. We will uh, make the source the local and the second source the remote. Call this OPC UA output. We'll make the same tags. Current source. State one, state two, and preferred source. Click OK. Oh, I did miss one thing, and that was we we're going to set this quality not equal to good. Click OK. Click Apply. Let's now go look for OPC DA output. We can see that that's working correctly. Now what happens if I turn off my OPC UA connection? So if I turn off my local connection, you see the current source changed to two and the state of one is now offline. Turn this back on, it's back running again. We could turn off two. At this point it won't affect anything because we're reading from one. 
Let me explain a little bit about how our redundancy works. We are constantly connected to OPC DA and OPC DA remote. We then output whichever one is our current source to the OPC DA output domain. That same is true for the UA. We're always reading OPC UA, we're always reading OPC UA remote, and when we have a failover, whichever one is the current source is going to the output. What that means is you would connect your client to the OPC UA output domain. So to summarize our redundancy connections, we first need to establish connections to our two sources. In this case, I made an OPC DA connection locally and then a tunnel connection remotely. And then I established two OPC UA connections and I made them both part of my redundant configuration here. The data is always put into the output domain which is what you, your client connects to. And then whenever the failover occurs from say source one to source two, the output domain is updated with the tags from the current source.